Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy Fogarty here from theathomewelder.com and I'm here for kingmetals.com and today we are answering the question, what the heck does stick out mean? Now if you're here watching this video, then I know that you're like a lot of people who have been learning how to weld on their own. Uh, maybe you've gone to kingmetals.com, you've come to theathomewelder.com, or you've just searched on YouTube to find videos on how to teach yourself how to weld. Well that's great, but you've probably come in to a lot of videos that talk about a lot of different terminology that you just don't really understand. It's something that we take for granted as welders that we just kind of throw out this terminology expecting everyone to know. We just don't even think about it because it's such common knowledge for experienced welders. One of those terms is stick out. So what does stick out actually mean and when does it matter? Stick out is actually just referring to how far your welding wire so that is gonna be your stick, how far that's coming out of your gun. That's all that that means. Now, of course, there are a lot of uses for that term, and that term can change because the distance that your stick needs to be coming out of your nozzle can change depending on the type of welding that you're doing. Now, the next question is, how do I know how far my stick out needs to be? I know a lot of people, myself included, always say to keep your stick out short. 95% of the MIG welding that you're going to be doing, especially in a little home shop or garage, you're going to be needing your stick, your stick short. And the reason for that is the longer you have the wire, the stick, coming out of your gun, the more uh, issues you have to deal with. So for one, your weld pool is actually going to be farther away from where your gas is coming out. So you think all the pressure, all the most of your gas is gonna be coming out right here at the end of this nozzle, right? And as soon as it leaves this, this little tube of your nozzle, it's coming out into the open air and it's, it's losing its uh, potency, you could say. It's, it's dispersing out into the wild. So you have less gas to use, which messes with your weld, you, don't have, you have less heat, and all these other little things. Now another very common reason why we say to leave your stick short is simply because you have less control over your weld the farther your stick gets out. Because if you think about it, all the nuances in moving the gun are all in here in your wrist. And you want to keep that as close to your, the end of your nozzle as possible. It just allows you to control things much easier. Now, what are the instances when you want to have a longer stick out? Which, and longer doesn't really mean that long. Longer, we're talking maybe half inch to three quarters of an inch. That's pretty long. Now, when are we going to be using that? Well, when we're doing things like welding aluminum. What? Welding aluminum with a MIG gun? Yes, you can do it. And we're going to have a video uh, explaining that a little bit more coming up real soon. But for most of the time, you're going to want to keep your stick pretty short, around a quarter of an inch coming out. Any farther than that is, is a little too far. You want to keep it in there. Now, if you keep your stick out too short, you're going to end up damaging your tip and you're going to end up clogging it up and probably getting a bird's nest in your machine and have to clean out all that wire and it's just a waste. The next question is, does this matter for what kind of wires that you're using? Well, yes and no. Most MIG wire, it's not gonna matter. You, the, the rules still apply in a universal manner. Now, when does this change? Well, remember how I just mentioned us welding aluminum through a MIG gun? That is when things change. But again, we're gonna cover that in another video. All right, that's it for this week's welding quick tip. I'm Andy Fogarty from the At Home Welder and I'm here for kingmetals.com. Now, if you need welding wire, go ahead and go over to King Metals. You can search online and just pick whatever you need and order it, have it shipped right to your door. Very easy. I've been using their wire for a while now. Now they've started stocking it, which is fantastic. Good job, King. And I love it, it's good stuff. Not all wire is created equally, and you know, that's something that you'll learn as you try out different wires and buy them from different places. So that's it, I'm Andy Fogarty, and I will see you again next time with another welding quick tip.